The kitchen was the same. The table was the enamel table common to our class. Easy to clean with wooden under corners for indigent and old cockroaches that couldn't make the kitchen sink. milk in it. They sat in their flower print house dresses at the white enameled kitchen table near the window sometimes. But rarely laughing. Endlessly talking about childhood friends. Operations. And abortions. Death. And money. One, two, three.
Love, this is what I remember. Stepping off the plane, I was enveloped by a thick heat. None of us were prepared for the incredible heat that hit us with such force. I had seen the landscape from my window. And I remember being amazed at how green and thick everything was. An impenetrable thickness, almost visible in the air. You know, when it rains like this, I try not to work so hard. But hard work has become a pleasure, a distraction in these long, solitary days. Lately, the school has been having trouble. Not just the school, but the mission itself. People are always afraid now. But the job is never done. And I work just the same. As if life were perfectly sane and normal. Occasionally, one or two people will show up at the shack we call our school. Maybe a young woman or a very old man. All the young men have disappeared into the mountains, you see. And I teach reading and writing as if they were the most important thing in the world. We try to go on as if our lives weren't disrupted. I act as if I will see them again the next day. Usually, I don't. Why am I still here? Because everything is important. Nothing was wasted, and everything is important. It keeps me going from day to day in this heat. Love, I don't know how many more letters you'll get from me. Have I ever described our daily rituals around here? We rise about five in the morning and say our prayers. You'll be amused to know that I cook breakfast. I must admit, our diet has been monotonous, but I think I'm getting better at it. I like the early morning hours the best. and quiet and not so filled with dread. Love. There was a sense of energy and accomplishment those first few months before the trouble started. I'm being general about this on purpose. The specifics are too brutal and unnecessary. I think you understand me quite well and can read between the lines. Why am I still here? What am I holding on to? You ask me those questions over and over and you should know better. I was one of those servants of God who always believed in practical methods just like you. Love, I am waiting to see the light. I remember the landscape from my window as the plane began descending, my eyes embracing the steamy thickness of the jungle below.